So, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Nandito na naman po tayo para sa panibagong discussion. Uh, some of arithmetic sequence and its uh, notation symbol. So, ano nga ba yung purpose ng ating discussion ngayon? Uh, by the way, again, I am Mr. Reyes guiding you for our lesson for today. Mga objectives natin, the learner derives the formula for finding the first n terms of arithmetic sequence finds the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic sequence and provides the arithmetic series expressed by the summation na tinatawag. Quite complicated, but isa-isay natin para matakol natin, ma-achieve natin yung objectives natin. Simulan natin sa warm-up activity na ito, entitled The, the Secret of Card. Give the sum of uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 hanggang 100. Can you do this in 5 seconds or or maximum of 10 seconds? Pause the video and try to do it your own. And the answer is 5050. Nakuha mo ba sa loob ng ilang segundo lang? Possibly ba na makukuha yung sum sa loob lang ng ilang segundo? Posible siya dahil nagawa siya ni Carl. Sino ba si Carl? Si Carl ay isang mathematician. Si Carl Friedrich Gauss. Na nung elementary pa siya, tinanong siya ng kanyang teacher to give the sum kasi nabuboring daw siya during that time. So, on the board, pinakita niya yung sum of those numbers from 1 to 100, which is 5,050. Anong sikreto niya? Paano niya nakuha kagad yung ganun kahaba tapos naibigay niya kagad yung sum? So, paano nangyari yun? So, ganito yung ginawa ni Carl. Uh, Na-analyze niya na yung sum daw ng first sa kayong dulo is 101. Na-analyze din niya na yung second at saka yung second to the last ay 101 din. Yung third at saka yung third to the last pag pinagat mo, 101 din. At saka yung middle two numbers, siyempre, 101 din yun, and so on. So, ang tanong dito, ilang 101s yan? Kung titignan mo, from 1 up to 100, merong 100 na numero doon. Since nagpaparis-paris siya ng mga numero, ibig sabihin nun, merong 50 pares ng dalawang numbers yan. So, multi minultiply lang niya yan ni Gauss, then 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 0 is 0, and then 5 times 1 is 5. Kaya ang sagot ng 1 hanggang 1 plus 2 plus 3 hanggang 100 is 5,050. Ganun kagaling si Gauss nung bata siya. Pinag-uusapan lang naman din natin ang sum. May dalawa, uh, I want to give the difference between an arithmetic sequence and then pagdating sa sum, ang tawag naman doon is arithmetic series. Looking at the difference, wala kayong nakikita ang plus dito. It's purely comma, then that, that, that comma. Dito naman, merong involved na plus. If we are getting the sum of arithmetic sequence, ang tawag doon is arithmetic series. Let us derive the formula. So, as we all know, kagaya ng sinabi ko, pag pinag mo, you are speaking of series or sum. And then, panibagong simbolo, yung S dito, we are referring to sum. Yung n dito ay depende kung, kung ilang terms ang ating pinagaad. Let's say sum of first five terms. So, for, so to clarify, this is sum of the first n terms hanggang sa last term na a sub n. Let me revise that one. Kasi pwede not, it, and by the way, we are deriving the formula now. We can derive this by changing the format of uh, the following into uh, in terms of a sub 1. The a sub 2 can be written, if you are still familiar with this, can be written as a sub 1 plus isang common difference. Kailangan mo ng isang common difference para makuha mo yung a sub 2. Sa a sub 3 naman, pag gagamitin mo yung a sub 1, kailangan mong dagdagan ng dalawang common difference. 
Sa a sub 4, kailangan mo ng a sub 1 plus tatlong common difference. And so on. Dito sa second to the last, same process din. Kailangan mo ng first term at saka common difference times second to the last. Ano yung second to the last? Uh, what's the previous of n minus 1? Ang previous ng n minus 1 ay syempre n minus 2. And this a sub n here is simply the formula of getting the last term or the n term of arithmetic sequence which is represented by a sub 1 plus d times the quantity n minus 1. Yon. Para totally ma-derive natin, ganito yung gagawin natin. I-reverse natin yung process. Instead of starting with a sub 1, ngayon i-start natin sa a sub n. And then gusto natin bumalik papunta ng a sub 1 hanggang sa a sub 1 dito. Pabalik kasi tayo eh. Ano ba yung susunod sa a sub n? Kung yan yung last term, babalik ka ng isa. Kung babalik ka ng isa, kailangan mo ng last term na yan, tapos bumalik ka ng isang common difference. Tapos, again, kailangan mo yung last term, bumalik ng dalawang common difference para makuha mo yung pangatlo. And then, yung susunod na naman na 4 to the last, kailangan mo ng a sub n, tapos mag-subtract ka ng tatlong common difference. Hanggang sa makita mo yung parang ano, clue. Kasi may mangyayari mamaya eh. Ano kaya yung second to the last dito? Sige nga. Ang second to the last dito ay syempre a sub n. Tapos magsusubtract din tayo ng common difference as na yung previous nun. Which is previous ng n minus 2. Uh, n minus 1. Which is uh, n minus 2. And then, later on, magiging a sub 1 na lang dito. Bakit? Kasi yan yung pinaka first term na na-reverse natin. So, ganito yung mangyari. Isasum natin to. Magkakaroon ng 2 a sub n. Kasi a sub n plus a sub n is 2 a sub n. Tapos malalaman nyo, getting the sum here, getting the sum here, you will find that we have a sub 1 plus a sub n ang naiiwan dyan. Tapos, a sub 1 plus a sub n na naman. Kasi, ang nawawala ito eh. Nakakancel yung mga common difference. Oh. Papansin nyo. Nakakancel sila. So, a sub 1 plus a sub n, then a sub 1 plus a sub n. Lahat yan hanggang sa makarating sa a sub 1 din plus a sub n. Kasi ang representation nito is a sub n. Kanina. So, ano yung purpose niyan? Ano yung purpose niyan? Siyempre, para makarating tayo sa formula na hinahanap natin, ganito yung mangyayari. Lahat ng mga yan, ilang terms yan, mayroong n na pinag natin yan. Uh, kasi we are just adding a sub 1 plus a sub n and same number of uh, terms ang nagamit natin. Paris nga lang. So, merong n pieces of uh, a sub 1 plus a sub n dyan. So, para ma-derive natin totally yung a sub n, kailangan mong i-divide ng 2 magkabilaan. Hanggang sa mag-arrive ka sa formula, I-highlight ko lang. Ibabox ko na lang para di kayo magkalit ulit. Oh. So, a sub n is equal to n over 2 quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. So, yan yung formula. Or na-derive natin ng formula. Na ganito yung ginamit ni Carl kanina. We just have to add a sub 1 and a sub n. And then, divided by, multiply that by the half of the number of terms or n over 2. So, so, sa ngayon, yung na-derive natin kanina, yung S of N equals N over 2 times the quantity A sub 1 plus A sub N, ay i-derive uli natin sa pangalawang pagkakataon. So, ganito lang ang gagawin natin. So, A sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus i-represent natin to sa formula ng na-derive natin ng mga naunang lesson kung pamilyar pa rin kayo sa formula ito. 
Kung baga, nagamit natin yung common difference, tapos na, na tinanggal natin yung a sub n. Which is, we will try to verify a example later on kung ano yung upper break na gagamitin. So, ipapinalize natin. Magkakaroon tayo ng 2 a sub 1. Ito kasi yun, pinagsamang a sub 1. Plus the common difference times n minus 1. Ayan. So, dalawa yung formula natin in getting the sum, this one, and also this one. Either sa dalawang yan, pareho pa rin yung lalabas na result later on sa mga examples natin. So, again, ano yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Pag sinabi natin arithmetic sequence, wala tayong nakikita ng plus. Pag sinabi natin arithmetic series, may plus. Kaya yan. Pause the video and try, try mo mang kunin yung arithmetic series ng ating numbers 1, 2, and 3. So, pause the video and check your answer later. The answers, ito, at saka, na naman yung isa. Siyempre, sulat mo lang yung 2 thirds plus 1 plus 4 thirds plus 5 thirds plus 2 plus 7 thirds plus 8 thirds plus 3. As simple as that. Arithmetic series yan. Ngayon, tackle natin yung mga example. So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung first 10 terms ng ating sequence. Unang-una, i-identify natin yung mga given. Our first term is 5. Our common difference is, kuha tayo ng dalawa, 9 minus 5. So, 4 ang ating common difference. So, nandiyan na lahat. Halos, our n is equal to 10 as given from the problem. Ano kayo ang mas upper peak na gagamitin natin? May nakita ba kayong last term sa ating given? Wala. So, ang upper peak na gagamitin natin is uh, s of n equals n all over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus common difference times the quantity n minus 1. Kasi nga, wala tayong nakitang last term. Ang sinabi lang, first 10 terms. So, kunin natin yung S of 10. Papalitan na natin yung N. So, 10 all over 2 times 2 times our first term. What is our first term? Yes, our first term is 5. Our common difference is 4. Our N is 10. Minus 1. Continue natin. We have 5. That is the quotient of 10 and 2. And then we have 2 times 5 is 10. And then bring down 4. And then bring down the difference of 10 and 1 is 9. Simplify uli natin. So, equals 5 times 10 plus 36. Hanggang sa makarating sa 5 times 46. So, 5 times 46, 5 times 6, that is 30. Carry 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3, 23. So, the answer for the sum of the first 10 terms of 5, 9, 13, 17, and so on is 230. Did you get it right? Let us try another example. We are getting the sum of the first 20 terms of the following sequence. And again, i-identify natin yung a sub 1, which is negative 2. Our common difference is negative 5 minus negative 2. Be careful with sign. Negative 5 plus 2, so the answer is negative 3. The value of n is 20. The value of our a sub 20 is negative 610. And that's the sum of the first 20 terms of the given arithmetic sequence. Let us take another example. Find the sum of the first 10 negative numbers divisible by 4. Kung titignan natin, 
divisible by 4 or negative 4, uh, negative 8, negative 12, and so on. So, from that, pwede mo nang makuha yung a sub 10. This represents our a sub 1. And the value of common difference is negative 4 going to negative 8. So, we are adding negative 4 each term. Kumbaga. So, again, our value of n is 10. We will start with 10 all over 2. Multiply by the first 2 times the first term, which is negative 4. Plus, the common difference is, again, negative 4. Multiply natin sa value ng n, which is 10, then minus 1. Close. Hanggang sa we have 5. Negative 8, which is the product of 2 and negative 4. And then, negative 4 times 9. Close uli natin. We have 5, negative 8, plus negative 36. Let us continue at this side. So, 5 times negative 8 plus negative 36. Correct? That's negative 44. Multiplying that. So, we have 20, carry 2, 22. So, the answer for the sum of the first negative numbers divisible by 4 is negative 200. Another example. In the arithmetic sequence, a sub 1 equal to 7 and a sub 12 is equal to 29. Find the sum of the first 12 terms. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, obviously, ang wala ng ating n ay 12. Given na rin yung first and last term. And at this point, the very efficient formula to be used is this one. Kasi, given yung first term, and at the same time, given yung last term, identified yung last term. So, the answer for the a sub 12 is 216. Another example. What is the sum of 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 hanggang 57? So, medyo komplikado dahil may last term nga, kaya lang pang ilan to? Pang ilan yan? Pang ilang n yan? So, para malaman mo, ganito yung gagawin natin. Babalik tayo sa formula ng a sub n times first term plus the common difference times n minus 1. Kailangan natin isimplify dyan. Para malaman natin kung ano yung value ng, kung pang ilan yung 57 na yan. So, write down 57. Our first term is 3. Our common difference is 2. Kasi, nag tayo ng 2. So, yun kaya 2 yung nandyan. And n is hindi pa natin alam kung pang ilan yung 57. And then, bring down 1. Continue simplifying. So, that's 57 is equal to 3 plus 2n minus 2. Continue simplifying. 57 is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 2n. So, we have 57 minus 1. Nilipat ko na lang to doon. Then, bring down 2n. So, 56 is equal to 2n. And in the long run, the value of n is 56 over 2 our n is as the answer, 56 divided by 2. Correct. That is 28. So, pang 28 yung ating 57. Kaya, pwede nang pwede nang pwede na nating isolve. We are actually getting a s of 28. Kasi pang 28 ito. Siyempre, 28 ng ating n. Divide natin sa 2. Our first term is 3. And our last term is 57. So, in the long run, 28 divided by 2, that is 14. And then, 3 plus 57, that is 60. So, 60 times 14, that is, we have 0. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry 2, so therefore, 
our ace s of 28 is 840 so the sum of this 3 plus 5 plus 7 up to 57 is 840 okay just remember our formula or to simplify our formula you can apply s of n equals n over 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus uh, a sub n provided that the value of n is given the value of the last term and the first term are given samantalang ito you can apply this formula provided that uh, a sub n is unknown hindi binigay yung last term but the common difference is given and even the first term is given so as simple as that so look at the difference between the two or how to apply the two formulas at this point you will be familiarized with the summation notation which is another way of writing the sum of arithmetic sequence or expressing arithmetic series ito yung symbol ng sigma yes sigma symbol ang tawag yan or summation notation ng ibang katawag so kanina you're applying the formula of s sub n by getting the sum of the first n terms pag sinabi mong s sub 3 you're getting the sum of first 3 terms pag sinabi mong s sub 10 you're getting the sum of first 10 terms pero ngayon gagamit tayo ng panibagong symbol which is the summation notation kaya kung titignan natin uh, we can write the 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 up to 20 has a general 2n pero it limits for the first 10 terms so ang gagawin ibigay mo muna yung anong tawag dito yung general rule ng sequence natin let me erase this yung general rule ng ating uh, arithmetic sequence which is 2n and then later on pag mayroon yan merong lalabas dito wherein we are always start with 1 for the arithmetic sequence and then up to what particular last term ang ating ina-identify which is the last value of n and then this is the general formula once again so this is now the simplified summation form of our arithmetic sequence which is read as paano pa basahin niyan the sum of 2n as n goes from 1 up to 10 let us try to solve this we are getting the sum of 7n minus 5 as n goes from 1 up to 10 so paano yan medyo kailangan mong magaling sa substitution so again 7 times 1 we are you are always starting with 1 mag arrive ka sa 7 minus 5 that is 2 sa pangalawa 7 times 2 minus 5 14 minus 5 is 9 next third what's 21 minus 5 21 minus 5 16 then 7 times 4 minus 5 so 28 minus 5 is 23 continue natin 7 times 5 minus 5 35 minus 5 that's 30 napapansin mo obviously it's an arithmetic sequence but our problem here is to get the sum of the first 10 terms because as what noted we are getting actually the sum of the first 10 terms so from that you can simplify this by going to s of 10 you can apply that and substituting the value of n is 10 over 2 we identified the first term as 2 and then uh, multiply it to the first term uh, constant to multiply it to the first term which is 2 plus the common difference is obviously it will give 7 
and then multiply that to the n minus 1 or 10 minus 1. Close. Until mag tayo sa 5 and then 4 plus 7 times 9, 63. Ito, 7 times 9, that is 63. And then, in the long run, we have 4 plus 63, that is 67. And you can have 5 times 67 is, we have 35, carry 3, so 33. So the answer for this one is 335. But, if you want to continue this hanggang sa last term na 10 term, 7 times 10 minus 5. What's 7 times 10 minus 5? 7 times 10 minus 5. We have 70 minus 5. What's 70 minus 5? That is 65. From that, we can apply the other formula. To get the S sub 10, we can apply the N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. We know that the value of n is 10. Our first term is 2. Our last term is 65. So 10 over 2 is 5 times 67. You can also have the 335. Kahit sino sa dalawang ito, pwede mong gamitin. Subukan pa natin. Find the sum of the arithmetic series expressed by the summation of... Uh, 3n where n goes from 2 up to 11. So this time it's a different scenario because our starting number or starting value of n here is 2 aside from 1 or or the, you know, the ordinary 1. Kaya ang gagawin natin, syempre mag-uumpisa ka sa, sa 2. You're going to substitute the 2 being 6, then 3 being 9, then 4 being 12 hanggang sa makarating ka ng 3 times 11 which is 33. Kung titignan natin, ang lumalabas na common difference dito ay 3. Kasi nag lang tayo ng 3. N, ilang N ba yung ginamit natin? So at this point, we are not using 2 as our uh, first term or from that Magagamit lang natin yung ideya niya as our a sub 1. So, kung titignan natin, ilang bang terms ang from 2 hanggang 11? So, that is, can, can be simplified by listing 2 up to 11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, merong 10. Or, we could just say 11, which is noted as the last value of n. And you are going to subtract that with 2. Kaya, magiging 9. Pero, mag ka ng 1. Kasi, if you are going to count everything from 2 up to 11, magkakaroon ng 10 steps yun. Kumbaga sa kalendaryo, January to December, ay mayroong labing dalawang months. Kasi, pang 12 ito, una ito, so, para mag-arrive ka sa 12, pag nag-subtract ka, 12 minus 1, 11 lang ang lumabas. So, kailangan mong mag-add ng non para mag-arrive ka ng 12. So, parang ganun dito. So, in short, we are going to take this 10 at saka yung 3, saka yung first term na 6, and the last term na 33 by just using the S sub n equals to n all over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub n. Kasi, to get the sum of this, of uh, the 3n here, we could just say s of 10 is equal to 10 over 2 times the value of our a sub 1 is 6 and the value of our last term is represented by 33. And in the long run, you could have 5 and then 6 plus 33, that is 39, to be multiplied by 5, so we have 45. Because 5 times 9 is 45, carry 4, so we have 195. So therefore, the submission of uh, 3n, where n goes from 2 up to 11, is equal to 195. So I want you to solve this one. 
post the video and check your answer later. Kaya mo yan. At ang mga sagot ay... And to end our discussion, by next meeting, panibagong klase ng sequence ang inyong madidiscover tapos ididetermine natin yung mga involved na formulas. And let me end my discussion with this. The whole is more than the sum of its parts according to Aristotle. Ibig sabihin, ibigay mo na lahat ng effort mo. Para walang sayang, kumbaga. So, kailangan mong gawin yung mga designated na exercises or assessments sa'yo na kinakailangan mo rin i-submit on time sa iyong subject teacher. Yan lang muna sa ngayon, sa susunod ulit. Till next time, and have a good day.